Now begin, please rise. Pag-irob na Diyos natin Ayan, magsiawit na bayan Pinagpala ka, dakilang biyaya pangako niya Sumilay na In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of God our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ be always with you. And with your spirit. Welcome to the new month of October. And as we begin the new month of October, we celebrate today the memory of St. Therese of the Child Jesus, a Carmelite sister who lived a life of obscurity and solitude in the convent of Carmel in Lisieux in France. Today we also begin the month of the Rosary. We dedicate the whole month of October to the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Queen of the Most Holy Rosary, as we entrust to her our country and our people. I confess to Almighty, Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who opened your kingdom, to those who are humble, and to the little ones. Lead us to follow trustingly in the little way of St. Therese, so that through her intercession, we may see your eternal glory that is revealed through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of prophet Isaiah. Rejoice with Jerusalem and be glad because of her. All you who love her, exalt, exalt with her. All you who were mourning over her, oh, that you may suck fully of the milk of her comfort, that you may nurse with delight in her abundant breasts. For thus says the Lord, Lo, I will spread prosperity over her like a river, and the wealth of the nation like overflowing torrent. As nurslings, you shall be carried in her arms, and fondled in her lap, as a mother comforts her son. So I will comfort you. In Jerusalem, you shall find your comfort. When you see this, your heart shall rejoice and your bodies flourish like a grass. The Lord's power shall be known to his servants. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. 
In you, Lord, I have found my peace. In you, Lord, I have found my peace. O Lord, my heart is not proud, nor my arse haughty. I busy not myself with great things, nor with things to sublime for me. In you, Lord, In you, Lord I have found my peace. Nay, rather, I have stilled and quieted my soul like a wind child. Like a wind child on its mother's lap, so is my soul within me. In you, Lord, I have found my peace. O Israel, hope in the Lord, both now and forever. In you, Lord, I have found my peace. Please stand to honor the Holy Gospel. be with you and with your spirit. A reading is taken from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. The disciples approached Jesus and said, Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? Jesus called a little child over, placed the little child in their midst and said, Amen, I say to you, Unless you turn and become like children, you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. Whoever humbles himself like this child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. My dear friends in Christ, this is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The new month of October begins today. Kapag dumarating na ang buwan ng Oktubre, ay naaamoy na natin palapit ng palapit ang buwan ng Nobyembre at ang kasunod ay ang buwan ng Disyembre. Although my favorite month, if you will ask me, my favorite month is the month of September. For me, the best month is the month of September for obvious reasons. Because I was born on a day in September. But the month of October is significant to us for several reasons. Firstly, on the first day of October, we celebrate, we commemorate the memory of a very famous sister a very famous Carmelite nun known as Saint Therese of Lisieux, also known as the Saint Therese of the Little Flower, Saint Therese of the Child Jesus, the patron saint of missionaries. The month of October, as I said in the introduction, is also the month of the Holy Rosary. And in this chapel, the rosary will be prayed nightly at 8 o'clock in the evening, inviting all of you who are watching tonight to join us in contemplating the mysteries of the Blessed Virgin Mary in relation to her son Jesus. The praying of the rosary in this chapel will be held nightly at 8 o'clock in the evening. On a personal note, I also love the month of October because for several reasons. Because of the following reasons. The birthday of my father is in October, October 14. My father also died in the month of October, October 16. 
my mother also died in the month of October on an October 19 and on a more more personal notes. October 19 is also significant, very significant to me because October 19 is the anniversary of my priestly ordination. That is why I love the month of September. I love the month of October. Originally, my classmates and I, we wanted to celebrate our 35th, 35th ordination anniversary on October 19. But because of the pandemic, we opted to postpone the celebration and we will probably celebrate it when the churches begin to open again. In any case, today, my dear friends, is the feast of Saint Therese of Lisieux, Saint Therese of the Little Flower. I said the patron saint of the missionaries. She never left the convent, but she was proclaimed by the church as the patron saint of missionaries because every everything that she did, even the little things that she did, she offered for the missions. That is why she was declared the patron saint of missionaries. In the deeply religious atmosphere of her family, the piety of Therese developed early and it developed intensely and intensively. Believe it or not, may I tell you, may I tell you a little secret about the family of Saint Therese of Lisieux. All four, all four of her elder sisters became nuns. All of them entered the convent. And at the age of 15, Therese also entered the Carmelite convent at Lisieux. And you know, the Carmelites are contemplative sisters. And what do contemplative sisters do? Basically, they only do two things. They do prayer and they do work. I'm sure you know the Carmelite sisters in your provinces or in your cities or even here in Quezon City. The Carmelite sisters are our neighbors here in Gilmore. But they are not the only contemplative community in the vicinity. We also have our pink sisters or the adoration sisters and we also have the poor clares who are also contemplative sisters meaning to say that they live almost uneventful lives inside the silence of the cloister and their work, their life consists mainly of regular prayer and monotonous domestic work. But this is the kind of life that attracted St. Therese. This is the life that she chose. This is the life that she embraced. And St. Therese also said, I prefer the monotony of obscure sacrifice to all ecstasies. Therese of the Child Jesus became a saint because her holiness consists of little things. What do I mean when I say that the holiness of St. Therese consists of little things? Probably we can say that God does not expect us to build monuments. God does not expect us to build cathedrals and bridges and hospitals. But the little things that we do every day can lead us to holiness. As a matter of fact, St. Therese said, to pick up a pin, to pick up a pin for the sake of love can convert a soul. We are expected only to do little things, not grandiose, not spectacular, because little things can also lead us to holiness. As we celebrate the memory of Saint Therese of the Child Jesus, let us also be reminded of what the Lord said in the Gospel reading for today. Whoever welcomes the little child in my name welcomes me. And listen, 
the one who is found to be the least among you is the one who is the greatest. Saint Therese was born in 1873 and she died young. She was only 24 years old when she died of tuberculosis. Shortly before she died, Saint Therese wrote, I want to spend my heaven doing good on earth. I want to spend my heaven doing good on earth. And finally, she is also called Saint Therese of the Child Jesus, of the Little Way, of the Little Flower, of Lesieux, and Patroness of Missions, because her life was a story of love and a perfect illustration of 1 Corinthians 13, which happens to be one of Therese's favorite biblical passages in the New Testament. And how did she leave the New Testament? She was always praying and trying to put into practice what St. Paul says in 1 Corinthians chapter 13. And I quote, Love is patient. Love is kind. It is not jealous. It is not conceited or proud. Love is not ill-mannered or selfish or irritable. Love does not keep a record of wrongs. Love is not happy with evil, but with the truth. Love never gives up. Its faith, hope, and patience never fail. Three things are important. Faith, hope, and love. And the greatest of this is love. This is what St. Therese, in her little ways, this is what she practiced in her life. Prayers of the faithful. We now turn in prayer to the Lord of the harvest and we pray for the needs of the church and of the world. Let our response be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That all the faithful may be aware that they are called by God to spread His kingdom of peace in the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer that we may be more conscious of our vocation to spread the good news of salvation to the people in our neighborhood. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. That farmers who till the soil and work the land may be blessed with good weather and abundant harvest. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. That the sick and those who find life difficult may know that God cares for them through the care, through the concern of their families. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. That the faithful departed who labored in this life may obtain their heavenly reward. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, help us to take part with joy in the work of spreading the gospel by the example we show in our lives. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. To your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become our bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. To your goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual brain. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. As we proclaim your wonders in St. Therese of the Child Jesus, O Lord, we humbly implore your majesty that as her merits were pleasing to you, so too our dutiful service may find favor in your sight through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us now give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. It is our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father. Almighty and eternal God, for in the saints like Therese of the child Jesus, who consecrated themselves to Christ for the sake of the kingdom of heaven, it is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence by which you call human nature back to its original holiness and bring it to experience on this earth the gifts you promise in the new world to come. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord. You are the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave you thanks. He broke the bread. He gave it to the disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave the chalice to the disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in my memory. Let us again proclaim the mystery of our faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Bro Onesto, our Bishop, remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, all the apostles, all the saints, especially Saint Therese of the Child Jesus, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Together with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Queen of the Rosary, let us pray for our country and for our people. Our Father, who art, art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead, and lead us, us not, not into temptation, temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, O Lord, from every evil, and grant us peace in our country and in our families. In your mercy, keep us free from sin. Protect us from all anxiety and fear, as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus the Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. You said, Lord, to the apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. Amen. And may the peace of the Lord and the love of the Blessed Mother be always with you. And with your spirit. Greet each other now with a sign of peace. Peace. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, grant us peace. The Lord says to the disciples, Unless you become like this little child, you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. My dear brothers and sisters, this is Jesus, the Lamb of God who takes away our sins and the sin of the world. Happy are those invited to his banquet. Lord, Lord I, I am, am not, not worthy, worthy that, that you should, should enter under, under my roof, but only me. say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. 
Body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May the sacrament we have received, O God, kindle in us the force of that love with which St. Therese of the Child Jesus dedicated herself to you and longed to obtain your mercy for all through Christ our Lord. Amen. Oratio Imperata. God, our Father, we come to you in our need to, to ask your protection, protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We pray, pray that, that you guide the people tasked to, task to find cures, cures for, for this disease, disease and to stem its transmission. Protect the medical experts that they minister to the sick with competence and compassion. We pray for those afflicted May they be restored to health soon. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in this trying time to, to work, work for, for the, the good, good of all and, and to help, help those in need. We implore you to stop, stop the spread of this virus and to save us from our fears. Grant all this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. To your protection, O Holy Mother of God, do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod. Pray for us. Saint Therese of the Child Jesus. Pray for us. Saints Arnold Janssen and Joseph Reinadimets. Pray for us. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless and keep you the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Go in the peace of the Lord. Thanks be to God.